I'm Martin Wolf. I'm the Chief Economics Commentator of the Financial Times, and I'm here to discuss some important questions with the Royal Bank of Canada. I think if we look at globalization, uh, it's very difficult to imagine another huge leap forward, anything like what we experienced in the 80s, 90s and early 2000s. That's a one-off, a unique event in world history. That's not going to happen again. But what, what I think is perfectly possible is new opportunities will arise as old opportunities disappear and globalization will remain a very powerful feature of our economy with maybe India becoming much more important part of the world economy, China at the margin less. So globalization will continue, it won't be dynamic, but it certainly won't disappear. Well, if we try to assess where crises are going to come from, the problem is there are so many possibilities. I think we can divide them into two categories. Within the economic system, there are things like debt crises, more financial shocks associated with the way central banks manage deflation, the way governments manage their debt. Uh, there are systemic, systemic weaknesses, but there's also geopolitical threats which would overlap into economics, like the, uh, the continuing decoupling of trade, more protection, deglobalization, things of this kind. And the truth is, we don't know which of these will be the more important. Well, first of all, we need, if we are to get back to growth, a government that is actually determined to do this. And that means a government prepared to take some fairly large risk with policy. But in essence, we have to support innovation and investment by the corporate sector. We have to reform our capital markets, and I think the most important thing there is reform of our pension system. We need to liberalize our planning rules. We need to put really serious money into the leveling up agenda. And we need to promote education in our society. We need to open up our economy to the world and particularly to Europe and to capital investors. If we're trying to assess the threats to the UK economy, the biggest are going to be global, not uh, here, unless something really crazy happens within the UK, we elect a, a mad government, that seems quite conceivable. But there are huge risks in the world, as we've seen. We've seen them already in the past with the pandemic, the global financial crisis, the energy war. The big threats now are conflict between the US and China, rapid deglobalization, the closure of capital marks, markets and integrated uh, uh, um, flows of capital across the world on which we depend. Uh, essentially, we need a stable, safe, secure, open world economy. I think that the obvious answer, if we're thinking about the sector that's going to surprise people on the upside, is the return of the tech sector. But it's already sort of what everybody expects. So the question is, is there a sector which is not uh, what everyone uh, expects? Probably the most interesting is the, the renewable energy and more broadly energy transition space. It may turn out that we are going to be able to invest much more, much more quickly to transform the energy system of the world, in which case this will be a staggering investment boom.